guys, you're watching Kate Straight Up, and I am Caitlin, and today we are going to make a really simple soup recipe. It's perfect for like weeknight dinners, and it's really yummy. We are going to make a meatball and tomato soup. It's going to have a couple other ingredients, and you are going to love it. So this soup recipe has quickly become a favorite in my house for two reasons. One, it's super good. Two, it could not be easier. There's literally just a couple ingredients. Everything you need is like right here on this counter. And it makes like a really tasty, yummy, healthy soup. We're going to start with one small white onion chopped, and we're going to throw in a little bit of olive oil into our soup pot and then toss it right in. We're going to let that cook down a little bit until the onions are a little bit translucent and just kind of get them going before we start with our other ingredients. So as we're allowing our onion to kind of cook down a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of minced garlic. We're just going to stir that right in and you're going to get some really nice scents going in your kitchen. After our onion and garlic have cooked together, we're going to go ahead and add some spinach. If you get the ready to eat spinach right in the bag, you can actually just put it right in the pot. And you could eye it and see what you want, but depending on, this is actually a pretty big bag, so I'd probably use half a bag. But if you have a smaller bag, you could throw the whole bag in there because the spinach actually cooks down quite a bit. So go ahead and add as much as you'd like. So then we're gonna add two quarts of a tomato soup. So I like this Pacific Foods Organic Creamy Tomato, but any tomato soup would do. And you're just gonna add it in over your spinach and onion and garlic. So you're going to want to have two of these. You could mix and match if you want to do like a basil tomato and a regular one or just two of the same. doesn't really matter, but two quarts. So then we just give that a nice stir and get ready to add our final ingredient, which is these really teeny tiny Earth's Best Meatballs. So I actually bought these by accident one time, which is how I ended up making this soup for the first time also. These meatballs are super tiny. They're made for kids, they're like bite size, but they are perfect for soups. And Earth's Best, it's a great brand, no antibiotics, no hormones, it's you know, quality beef, it's all good. And they're fully cooked, so they could go right into the soup. So again, depending on how much kind of meat you want in it, you don't wanna to have too many meatballs where it loses its soup consistency. So I usually go with half of a bag, um, but you can eye it out and make that call. But I'm gonna say about a half a bag of meatballs. You want enough that there's meatballs in every bowl of soup, but you don't want the meatballs to kind of take over where it becomes more of like a crazy pasta dish instead of a soup. So half of a bag for me usually works, but go ahead and make that call. So after that, we are going to go ahead and cover our soup and cook it on high for about five to 10 minutes so the soup gets very, very hot and kind of comes to a boil almost. Not a rolling boil, but just kind of bubbles a little bit. Then we are gonna take the heat down to low or medium low and let it simmer on our stove. You could cook it for about a half hour minimum this way, but you could also, if it's on really low heat, let it go for a little bit longer and just let all your ingredients cook together. This is a very flexible soup, so you could definitely let it simmer on your stove or eat it fairly quickly after you mix all the ingredients together. You're just going to want to make sure that your meatballs are obviously warm all the way through and that your spinach and vegetables have cooked down. After that, you have a delicious soup. It tastes really good. Me and my husband like to have ours with a little bit of shredded parm cheese and some black pepper on top. It's super good, super great for a weeknight dinner, and you guys are going to love it. Make sure to subscribe to Kate Straight Up for more recipes like this one every week, and if you have a request, go ahead and do that below this video and find me on Instagram at Kate Straight Up Cooking. I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.